Good afternoon, good people. Thanks for tuning in to Shalom and T. We've been gone for a while, but we're back for a little bit more. Got some things I wanted to throw out there and see what, what you guys thought about this birth certificate. You know, birth certificate being connected to your money, being connected to your freedom, being and connected to your liberties and other people getting rich off of you being born, being a working vessel. Um, today, I want to share with you a video. Uh, I, I want to take a listen to what this lady is saying here. Um, definitely um, close to the eight minute mark. Uh, drop your thoughts and comments. Let me know what you think about this. I seem to think she owned something. I've got a lot of information about this matter, and she's confirming a lot if I've heard from PhD scholars that's in some politi political circles that I frequent uh, that speaks about this. Um, so take a listen. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you learn something. Let me know your thoughts and comments. I know. It's probably been a few days, and I've uh, been reading, been studying, hooking up with um, some really awesome people, very intelligent people uh, regarding uh, corporate America and, and freeing ourselves from corporate America or corporate UK or corporate Canada. Um, learned so much already, crammed a lot of information in my head. So my head is really hurting right now. <laughs> Too much information. But it all tends to resonate very well with me and I cannot wait to get that beautiful birth certificate. I already have a copy, but I'm waiting for an, a nicer one. The other one is just kind of like, it's really old, like antique. But the reason why I bring up the birth certificate is because it's worth billions of dollars. You know, if you have a birth certificate and you came into this, into the country or corporate America or corporate country, country incorporated, <laughs> Um, and they gave you a birth certificate, uh, chances are that they pretty much sold you, sold you for a commodity. Worth, that was probably worth a million dollars back in the day. It was back in 1933 when, well, I'm talking more for America. I don't really know too much about the other countries, but for America, back in 1933, um, America went bankrupt for a while, and they got really desperate. And what they did was they decided, hmm, you know, what we're going to do just to try to help, I guess, help this country, but not in a very nice way, is uh, we're going to go ahead and, and um, start uh, issuing uh, birth certificates. Birth certificates. And every baby that is born, you better make sure that those parents sign that birth certificate, which basically you, it comes to find out, you come to find out that they, um, it's giving you know, when the mother signed off that birth certificate, it's giving ownership to, to the government to own your baby, pretty much. Or, I'm sorry, the, the fictional character of the baby, of the, the birth certificate, of the name, the straw man, <coughs> which, which is really, <coughs> excuse me, which is really not the, the baby in, in itself, the human being child. However, they make us believe that that name on our birth certificate is us. That is totally us, but it really is not. It is a corporate identity. And with that, we pretty much were enslaved. We were enslaved. Um, we, even though our family did not consent to this, um, without, you know, when you go into a contract, there has to be full disclosure. Always has to be full disclosure. And there's got to be consent on both ends. Major consent and um, consideration. And with that, there was not, none of that for the parents, especially for me as well, I'm a parent and I've never been given any full disclosure of what the birth certificate is. And uh, so pretty much what you're doing is you're bringing your children in, into this environment, and uh, when you register them, you're registering them in, as employees, employees of corporate America, and they become corporate identities in the society. But I don't even want to get into the negative side about it. You know, you can, you, if you want to, if you want to go see more information, my head's not doing too good right now, but I have to give you this information. Um, go to my friend Beetlehaw's video. He's really awesome. He's got a lot of information. He's really helped me out a lot. And I can And notice how she spoke about corporate identities. That's something to be very aware of. The straw man, you know, how they operate with you and against you using your name 
in a different grammatical manner. See what else you got to say. I cannot wait to secure my bonds here very soon, secure a lot of things, um, and uh, send that birth certificate in uh, with an accepted value in the back of it. That's what you're supposed to, <coughs> supposed to do. When you get your birth certificate, if you want to claim that money that's in your treasury account, um, that, that, that's another thing. When, let me go, let me rewind here. <clears throat> when they register you or the, in the babies um, into corporate America, they also created a bond and which is worth a million dollars. So now it's worth billions of dollars. So by uh, our right, we have the right to claim it back. I'm not too sure about accessing the treasury. I'm not really sure with that information. However, you can use that account against all the debts that you've had, all the debts to pay up everything, everything that you've ever uh, struggled for, the debts of creditors of going after you, you can use that. And basically what it is, it's you know by writing on the um, utility bill or any other little bills that, that the, any company sends you, you write accepted for value, exempt from levy. Um, you know, I, I got to remember the other one, <laughs> but that's basically what you have to say. Um, she said accepted for value, exempt from levy. Now she's speaking uh, from a Canadian perspective, keep that in mind, but it's pretty much the same over in the U.S. Um, and what they do is they take that, that payment, or not even the payment, don't even close a check in it. They take that little bill and they send it back to the clerk and then from the clerk it goes to the secretary of treasury and they know exactly what to do even though you might still be getting a lot of um collectors and the, these creditors are after you and all that stuff trying to make because they they, they feel that you've been, you know playing the game very for a while um they, they think we're that we're, we're still that dumb even though we are waking up they are going to hound you until you do cough up that hard-working labor money <clears throat> that you work so hard for when in all reality all that money belongs in your in your treasury account and in, in your bond for, do, from your birth certificate that they've taken from us so remember what she said again your treasury account it's something that you're doing your research look into that also whatever that America had to do at the time, maybe they were desperate, maybe they needed us, maybe they needed to, you know, hey, we need to get this country together, but it would have been nice, would have been nice to, to at least tell us what was going on. If, if I would have known, maybe I would have denied it. Oh, I apologize. She's speaking from an American um, point of view. I'm sorry. This is um from the second video she, she did. She did multiple videos on this topic, um, but she is speaking from an American perspective here. Or maybe I would have went with it, depending if it was going to be for good causes yeah. to help this country in some way. But the fact is, is they never really told us anything. So what, what do you say with that? You know, when we're supposed to be taught that uh, contract, you know, going into a contract is very important. And when you don't have all everything in, in, in place, all the information right up front, then, then what are you doing? It's, it's called fraud. It's called deception, yeah. right? thing is once you get your uh you know you get your information your bonds in place you're a pretty powerful person you become very powerful and the the statute law no longer um can hurt you it really can't <clears throat> because you're no longer abiding by the statute law you're no longer abiding by that you're when you take back an ownership of your birth certificate you're taking back ownership of the straw man as well the straw man the corporate identity that the uh, corporation created okay yeah but doing some reading can you tell I think I know a little more than I did before <laughs> the, last, the last last time. But yeah, there, there's a lot. Yeah, like she said, take control of your straw man, the corporate person. There's a lot of trick knowledge involved out here that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, I don't know about all of it. A lot of people I know, even in financial positions, don't know about it. They're learning more and more every day, just like I am, just like we are. So this is a great opportunity um, for us to open our mind a, a little bit more to all of the different policies and licenses, and et cetera, et cetera, documentation that we have or have to so-called produce and things that matter if we're such a free person, we're such, such free people, if we're such a God. Continue what she's saying. Information and what you want to do is get your birth certificate 
and then start out by filling a UCC uh, one form because what that's going to do that's going to help help make you claim ownership to that title to your straw man because the government UCC one uniform commercial codes you don't know about those look them up it's got that you really don't have that title yet and once you do that you're going to be able to relieve yourself from all the headaches and then then you secure your bonds through a, uh, a security agreement um, uh, contract but there's a lot more information on the side that you could check out but once you get everything in place you secure your bonds you're able to rock and roll baby we're able to rock and roll and it's awesome very awesome um, I also heard, I don't know if this is true, I'm not really sure, but they've said that they, they also have used our bonds, <laughs> and you can also see it in the stock exchange, um, by basically you um, typing in your uh, either your birth certificate number or your social security number, I'm not really sure which one is which, that you have to put that in, and you put it in like Fidelity or some of these other big companies, and you'll come to find that you're your bonds will be popping up because they're using your bonds and um, to make lots of money off of. I mean, at first I was pretty upset about it all. I mean, it was like, God, I can't believe this. Nazi freaking America. Oh my God, what am I doing? But you think about it. It's kind of cool because you know what? Neither had to be an, a happy ending to this negative story of our lives. <laughs> there always has to be a happy ending, right? So it is a happy ending for us, you know, whatever happened, happened, it's meant to happen, but you know, the cool thing is we can legally and lawfully take our, our, um, okay, I don't agree with that part, and she says, whatever's meant to happen, happened, might be okay, uh, for us to be put into a, a position of slavery, to be even put into a further, a further position of slavery, and a continued position of slavery, so, yeah, I agree with the parts on um, getting your identity back and breaking free uh, and having a true freedom, but <laughs> that other part, no. Power back, and we can take our independence back and, and become a free man or free woman of the land and abide by common law, which is God's law. God's law, universal law. Damn. Common law. God's law, universal law. Anyone that know me know I speak on common law a lot. You know, half these laws is going around. There's no need for that. You know, common law trumps it all. And, you know, one man should be able to check another man as far as addressing, as far as when it comes to law enforcement. But we'll carry on and continue to hear what she has to say. After after all, this land is God's land. has nothing to do with the corporation, you know. So by abiding by those rules and understanding that and learning about your rights for real as a human being not a corporate identity you can really move some mountains and you can really have a major um, defense shield on you too and uh, it's not to harm anybody else as long as you're in the right place and you're there to you know you don't want to cause harm to anybody you want to just spread love and help everyone else hey that's that's all what it should be about this would, this would definitely work for you so i see and there's a lot of people that don't want to hear this message. They're scared of hearing things like this because they're, they're systemized. You know, they're so used to being in the system, doing whatever they're told. Like I said, stand up, be wrecked, you know, um, 10 toes down, whatever them people say do, you do, don't question anything. Those type of people, you know what I mean? You know, um, butt kisses, they want to call them, you know, book lickers, um, what else you want to call them? Scary. You know, weak bones. You know, no mind. Et cetera, et cetera. So go ahead and take we, your birth certificate. We'll close this so out. You go get some, get your dough. <laughs> get your dough back, all right? All right, you guys. Love and light. I think I'm going to go relax and lay down. My all right. You don't end right there. She said, Check and see your birth certificate. You may have some dough out there. You never know. Um, but like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what your thought is. I got a lot of more videos coming. Talk to you guys later.